Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in, well, a subway station. And Travis is on the road to facing off against the fourth-ranked assassin in the UAA, one Harvey Moisewitch Volodarsky. Man, say that ten times fast. Uh... Things got kind of derailed, no pun intended, last time when, uh, Travis fell asleep on the train and instead I found myself playing a space shooter from the NES era for a few minutes. That was weird. Uh? Yellow! Come on. You can do this. You're almost to the next ranked fight. Winners proceed to the fourth rank. Losers will also proceed to the eighth circle of hell. Must? But you and I, Travis, we are going to paradise together. Take me by the hand and show me a world of drama and passion, one that I have never known before. But be sure to hit the bathroom first. <laughs> as soon as you are ready, come for me. Don't leave me waiting. Today, Little Sylvia has done herself up quite well, I must say. My skin is so silky and smooth. This, quote, charisma makeup artist from Japan gave me, like, the most incredible color gradation ever. I really hate how she says, Dundaki, Dundaki, like some stupid bimbo. And will you look at that? Today you are going to win with 2,000% certainty. One hot night together, you and me coming right up. A promise is a promise. Uh. Trust your force, Travis, and head for the Garden of Madness. What the fuck is going on? Honestly, I just thought the uh, the numbers were going to get more and more absurd as uh, she got less and less convinced I was going to win. I guess it's not the end, it's just... I got the phone call already, and she's, you know, telling me to go to the bathroom, but... I thought I'd only gotten three chests. I'm gonna be so mad if it, like, turned out there was one during the fucking space shooter thing, and I didn't see it. Especially because I am definitely going to see it during editing! Well, you know what? Even that's not true. I am remarkably unobservant sometimes. Just immediately thinking of the, uh... the thing with the, uh, invisible tower in God of War. Where it appears the first time it gets brought up, but I didn't know that, and I thought they were just, uh, doing foreshadowing. And a friend of mine linked me to that time sp uh, spot on the video, which I had edited myself, and I still didn't get it after being linked there, because I thought he was just reminding me of the significance of that moment. Oh. Well, I guess that solves that problem. Sweet. Uh -oh. Seriously? Holy fuck, how did I miss that? Yes. Yoink! I like that, like he just reached out and grabbed it. Okay, first, wrestling move. Ah, oh, yes. Travis, you've become a pa uh, sorry, you've become a masterful pro wrestler. For some reason, I thought it said powerful in my brain. Uh, I think I'll book a match for you, but first, a super hard suplex. Remember Satan's Ferris wheel, the double arm suplex. M S. You remembered an old professional wrestling move. <laughs> I bet there's an achievement for getting the, uh, the, the mecha sequence flawlessly. No more heroes! Let's do this. Oh, man. 
tell you what, I'll put one in the bottom slot because... Well, I guess if I just don't save over that, it should be fine. So I wasn't sure. Maybe, you know, there is a, some reason to go back to that uh, shooting bit. Bow and arrow station. Which, look at that. Somebody pick up that phone, because I fucking called it. So I don't suppose I have any comments here. Um... Shout out to Yornick, who says... Oh, let me get to, uh, turn the camera around to the light. Close enough. <laughs> oh, it's not some crazy gelled-up hair, Travis says. It's... okay, it's bone. The man has a really, really, really malformed skull. The hints to it were in the open all this time. After all, LB stands for Lynchian Brain Box. At this point, stopping would be a sign of weakness, right? Uh. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Oh, no, I just did that. Yes, we're going out. I turned the camera around to look at my face. Yes, yes, yes. You are late, Anson. Hurry, the show's about to start. What's with all the excitement? It is not every day you get to watch a big fight from VIP seats. Of course I am excited. But I am most excited being with you. Whoa. You serious? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm packing heat, baby. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, and all killers out there, welcome to Harvey Vavadarsky's Magic Freak Show of the Century. It'll be a killer night, so let's get started. It's showtime! <laughs> oh my! Wait, what? Quiet, quiet. They were fine after that? What do you know? It's already time for the last program. But you know, today is a special day. And you, ladies and gentlemen, are lucky. So lucky that you might even get lucky. Now, one of you lucky people will be chosen to be up here with me. Who's it gonna be? The lucky person is... Ooh, ooh, pick me, pick me. You. Wow, well, Travis. This is <laughs> Me? They want me? Serious? You gotta be kidding. Oh, that's right, he doesn't know that's the assassin yet. He didn't ask for the name. Need to be shy? Congratulations, you nasty little boy. Tell the audience your name. Travis Touchdown. It's a good name, don't you think? It's a fine name indeed. You have your parents to thank for that. My parents are dead. Oops! Touchy subject. A question that should not be touched upon. That's okay. Really, it is. Dear, dear, don't let it bother you. Hold on to your hopes and don't give up, my nasty little boy. Thanks. I'll remember that. So you came to enjoy the show? Damn right I did. I was really looking forward to this. It's the last show, right? Last show? Did I hear you right? Oh, you heard me right. Harvey, you're gonna die tonight. Oh, he guessed it. Right here, by my hand. Let's close the curtains. I hope you aren't being serious. That would be a pity. We still have the main event to unveil. Playtime is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Ah, well. Well, now this is happening! Oh. On to the grand finale! Now this is entertainment! Yeah! <laughs> it's, it's killing time! time. <laughs> this fucking game, man. 
I just want to say, because I know it was at the very beginning of the cutscene, but it did immediately jump into my head that I am fairly confident that's the first time a game has ever made it uh, implicit that a character I was playing had a boner. <laughs> oh, God damn it. What is I mean, I can think of a few that made it explicit, but let's not get into that genre. Check it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Check it out. I know that voice, but I don't know from where. <laughs> Check it out. Nope, nope. Oh, okay. I really like the uh, the assistants locking themselves in the giant cage so that they don't. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of the line of fire. Damaging birds and. Ooh, I see two arm uh, thing through, through. Did that through pure arm strength. Hell yeah! Check it out. <laughs> okay. Damn it, I couldn't get away from that. I'll just do this the old fashioned Ah! No, no, no. Watch this. Not. I'm looking away. Cool guys, don't look at. Uh, it was exploding. Oh, whatever. Running, running. Welcome to the nightmare. Oh God. Okay. When I hit left on the stick, he ran to the left of the screen, which means he was going right. Oh, it's reversed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh! I had to, uh, to hit the stick in the other direction! I had to reverse my movement controls, but not that. Oh, right. To fuck with me. Ow. Damn, that's a really well-made suit. Look at touch of this tailor. Fuck's sake. Oh, come on, Harvey. How is my health? I can't even tell anymore. Ooh, that's not great. Uh -huh. Welcome to the night. I see signs. Now look. Well, now this is happening. It's showtime! That was actually kind of funny. I like that a lot. Oh, come on! I'm even attacking from behind and everything. Let me guess, I have to not blow up again. Left! I beat the clock. I did! Huh. The, the way the shadow is on the assistant's face look makes me wonder if the woman at the job center, or no, the assassination center, really isn't wearing uh, something over her eyes, and it's just the weird lighting in this game. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. Now this is happening. Oh, I see. It only feels like my controls are reversed. He's doing exactly what I would be doing if the camera was right side up. Doy.
Smash that button! Oh. Try this. Yes! Yeah, the goofy shirt was the right choice here. Check it out! All this and the guy is the fourth greatest assassin in the world, honestly. It's a real shame I only just found out about this guy and now I have to kill him because otherwise I would have been a fan. <laughs> back up, back up, back up. Bring it. I didn't seem like toss a grenade or anything in there. I don't know where the explosion comes from. I mean, not that this game really needs to make sense, but you know, it would be nice. Can I get that outfit? I mean, I guess the, the sparkles are probably proprietary, but uh, it's not like you're gonna be using it much longer. I'm just saying. Might as well. I love that! I gotta say! Holy fuck, that was a lot. God damn, I brought it up. I was at 51 and, you know, hit the, the health thing. Oh, I don't know how high it went, though. Shit. Um, I was just gonna say, I thought it was really good that I got down to the red heart, like the one I started with, and that was uh, at 50% of my health, apparently. I've made a lot of improvement of myself. No. Finish him! Sorry, Harvey. Show's over. Final! Somebody turn on the light! I can't see shit! Oh, how am I supposed to perform in total darkness? Hit the light! Hurry up! I can't see! It's dark! I'm surrounded by darkness! Oh no. Oh man, I liked him! Why did he have to have the worst death? Split personality. You have defeated the rank 4 assassin. But where did all that come from? That's a lot of goddamn money. Not as much as I paid to go here, but still. The name is Travis Touchdown. Thank you all for coming tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. I would also like to thank you for coming this evening. As a result, Travis Touchdown is now ranked fourth place. And the show will go on. I hope to see you all again soon. And, and have, have a, a good, good night. night. Bravo. Oh my. Let's see if fit that in here. Marvelous. All oh, right. Skip the middle name, sure, sure. He was a worthy foe. He may not have, you know, shut me down the way that uh, Shinobu did. You know, just because Holly and uh, Harvey only uh, took me one try to beat doesn't mean that they weren't as impressive as the ones that got me stuck in the mud for a while. I and mean, hell, even the tutorial guy killed me once. Warping back to Santa Destroy. I almost said Santa Domingo, but that's a real place, isn't it? Well, why'd you put the tree right next to the toilet? Uh, that's probably plastic. If it's if it looks like that and it's not near a window, it's plastic. And uh, yeah, let's save over that. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Good stuff. Hi, 
this is Diane from oh, no. Videos. We're calling to let you know that the video you returned was a copy of one of our video titles. Um, the best of raunchy amateur interviews, too? Fucking... You didn't seem to copy the whole tape, though. It oh, no. ended two minutes into the middle of the first interview. Anyway, please be sure to return the original tape you borrowed. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Touchdown. Are you on the throne again? Please wire you us sure the money. You sure do poop now. a lot. <laughs> Please wire us the money now. He has this whole speech every other time, but no, no, no. Explanation of the mission to Travis Touchdown from United Assassins Association, I guess. Uh, I mean, it could be Underworld uh, Arsenal Alliance, but whatever. Invoice. The UAA wishes to inform you that the entry fee for your next ranked fight is as follows. Rank 3, 450,000 LB dollars. Please deposit the above amount as soon as possible. Thank you! For a moment there, I wondered if that was Henry on the phone. Then I remembered he had an Irish accent. Huh, I wonder if I go over here and hit L... No, I can't go to first-person view here. ALAS! So I guess I'll just pet the cat. Oh no, not the food again. You hungry? Travis, that's irresponsible. You shouldn't feed her all the time. Lord knows cats are really, really good at sounding sad and pathetic, so you'll feed them, even if they're not actually hungry. No, seriously, that wasn't a joke. They are experts at, uh, manipulating human emotions. Like, they do something wrong, and it's just, Oh, did I do that? I'm so we. <laughs> and because they look like that, you forgive them every time. <laughs> uh, but the timer has gone, and we have moved up a rank. You have defeated the rank four assassin Harvey Moisewicz Vol Volodarsky. Oh, I just got that. Split personality, because he's a stage personality and we cut him in half. Great. <laughs> okay. I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans, when no Let's Play No More Heroes continues. Later.